Hello everyone, this is Dwayne. I really appreciate your comments to all of my videos and it appears that everyone likes the teaching series videos because that's what I get the most requests for. So in this video I'm going to do something a little bit different. If you watched any of my teaching series videos you'll recall how I show something then I cue you to pause, answer, and then resume. Now my intention, of course, is to give you a chance to think and respond instead of just listening to me do all the talking because thinking is so important in solving problems and in diagnosing car problems. So here's what I'm going to do. I'll start the video as usual and get to the place where you need to think. Now sometimes, as before, I'll ask you to pause, answer, and resume the video. But other times, instead of pausing, because I know most of you don't pause it anyway, I'll give you some options and things to consider. And those options may be information to look up, tasks to perform, tests to recommend, or other things. But they're all designed to make us think and be better at what we do. Now you know many of our diagnostic dilemmas these days are electrical, right? So that's where I'm going to start with an electrical issue. So if you had a problem with a building you would either go to the structural engineers or architects to see what's going on and figure out how to fix it, right? So when we have an electrical issue, we should go to the electrical engineers who design the system and go to them for the answers. And fortunately for us, their architectural or electrical plan is right there for us in the diagram. We just need to develop the skills in reading and understanding how those systems work. So here's how it'll all work. There will be one storyline, but instead of one single video, it may be broken into a few separate videos. But they're all leading us to a place where we can learn how to be better at what we do. If you don't have the patience, you can simply move right through. But if you really want to learn, take the time to think it through and discover the answer or answers. So keep in mind, there is never only one way to solve any problem. So my suggestions here are just one of those ways. So as always, I encourage you to add your comments and insights in the comment section so that we all can learn from you as well. And to begin with, our first video will be about a Jeep lighting issue. Okay, here is the original question. And he said, here's my problem. I've got a Jeep Liberty 2006 that is a right taillight that won't come on when I switch on the headlights. However, when I apply the brakes, it turns right on. What's up with that? Now let's call this issue number one, the right taillight that won't come on when I switch on the headlights. And we'll call this issue number two, when I apply the brakes, it turns right on. Now you can see why we need to review the electrical diagram, right? The question is, which issue should we check first, issue 1 or 2, and why? Okay, here's your first assignment. Get the diagram. If you have a source for that, go ahead and use it. But if you don't, I'll put a link where you can get the diagram in the description area of this video. Print it out and then color it at rest. I would suggest that you print out more than one copy because you may want to make some changes or corrections as we explore these issues. 